Hello and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. Today we've got a fast food triple review of sorts. Um, a bit unexpected to be honest because yesterday I told you I was going to do the 7-Eleven cheeseburger roll which has been around for years but I just noticed and I was like I'm, I'm going to give my opinion on this. Kind of looks like those Krabby Patty dogs they had that uh, one time. So I was like I was intrigued. You know, on Spongebob. Y'all know what Spongebob is. Uh, I grew up watching a lot of Spongebob. And then, you know, of course, the Arby's Steak Filet Sandwich. I got the Bacon Cheese Melt Whatever one. Um, other one, I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever try that. Importance is, like, what the steak tastes like and what the overall quality of the sandwich is. It doesn't matter which one. You're probably going to get a decent sandwich either way because it's Arby's. And then... There's this place called, you know, A&W Root Beer. You know, some of y'all might not know, but some of y'all might know they have a chain restaurant. So, a while ago, they were doing Oreo Nutter Butter ice cream things. They kind of like a blizzard, but not really. Um, and that's not what I'm reviewing today. They no longer have it, I don't believe. But I thought my area had one. And I was like, okay. Now I did further research. And I said... No, that's closed. And then I was riding around town like, well, there's one. Join, join it up with a KFC. So no wonder, like, it's not, like, known because everyone wants the KFC part of that. But it is there. And so the newest thing they have is Sriracha Chase Curds, which is very interesting. I love Chase Curds. So that's going to be added to the review. I think I'm going to do the cheeseburger roll first because it's 7-Eleven. Come on. You know, do the lowest quality first. And then build your way up to the main event, which would be the, uh, the sandwich. So this has been... I've had this for a while. It might not be good. I don't know. It doesn't feel like cheeseburger on the outside. So it might be breaded too. Who knows? But you're supposed to put it in a bun and put ketchup or whatever toppings on it. Whatever condiments but i didn't do that i just got the roll and said screw it i'm gonna try it for what it is not add things to it that's not bad it's like cheese flavored beef So, of course, to get the cheeseburger experience, you have to add, you know, condiments in the bun. But I'm enjoying this. It kind of tastes more like a hot dog to me. I think I get the cheeseburger taste. I would say definitely better than like a Whopper. Those, their, their Burger King's beef is just, I don't know. It's not good. For what this is, and for the fact that it's 7 Eleven and it tastes so good, I can't give it anything but a 10. I would highly recommend if your 7 Eleven has that, you go and grab it. 7 Eleven gets a lot of hate for what they are but that was really good now on to the sriracha cheese curd it looks like it's got quite a bit of sriracha on it so this could be spicy um there was this dude who uh was with his girlfriend in a and w and i didn't have a drink and he offered me his cup or whatever and i said no thank you i don't know if that was just him having an extra cup and being nice or if that was him noticing what I got and the fact that I don't have water. So, and I, I don't have water. So, sriracha isn't exactly too spicy, but it might bother me not having this water to, like, deal with this. Yeah, that's interesting.
It's a nice span to a regular cheese card. It really is. It's not too much sriracha flavor. Like, oh, well, not sure enough. We might just have another 10 on our hands. I would say the problem is, is that, again, a and is hard to find, and I would have never gotten to try these if I hadn't seen it while driving around. And I didn't get to celebrate National Cheese Curd Day by eating these, so I might not get by one. So, that's a nine. But if you have a uh, A and W around, I recommend these. Of course, you can always just buy regular cheese curds and dip them in sriracha. But this is this is good stuff. You got a good cheddar cheese flavor of a cheese curd mixed with the nice spice of a sriracha sauce that's in the breading, I believe. And it's really enjoyable. So I'm going to give that a nine just because I almost didn't get to try it. And I don't know how many people out there are going to get to try it. Anyways, my final thing I'm reviewing is the Arby's Petite filet steak filet so we'll see how this goes it's not bad i feel like i'm a bit underwhelmed though and i was thinking the bread might be a little bit firmer Hmm. It's got flavor. But I think the fact that I just had some real high quality lamb chop last night. And I think that fact takes, uh, away from my enjoyment of this even though it's not bad I think it's got good quality it's not perfect hmm I'm gonna give it a seven because I would recommend trying it. But they still have the Meattober Fest sandwiches. And those were really good. And I'm sure they have other options that are better than this. But it was enjoyable. I mean, I still have a couple of bites left. But it's not bad. Found a couple more things to review from 7-Eleven. Probably going to get my Taco Bell chips review because I got all four flavors. So I found the Diablo. So that'll be fun. Uh, I think I'm going to have another review today. And it's going to be a little weird. But I need to get this review done. Um, I bought cookies and cream yoo-hoos. Those won't expire for a while. But the other two things that I bought probably will expire soon. I got Snickers milk and Twix milk. So, uh, snack and food review pages I've been like posting about that. Um, so, it's like I'm gonna find them, I'm gonna try them. 
So I've got those three things to try. Uh, cookies and cream yuhus have been around. The problem is they've been hard to find. So that's going to be a knock about one or two that I'm going to give them because they just were not easy to find. They just took forever. And the, the, the ones I found are in a rough looking package. So it's going to hurt them. But that review is coming later today. I hope you enjoyed this review. I enjoyed eating all this food, even though I probably won't feel good pretty soon. Um, you know, yesterday, those Twinkies and stuff, they didn't hit too hard, so uh, maybe I'll be fine. But we'll see. Um, but again, you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and uh, check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack and Food. Um, it's hump day, so I hope y'all are getting through the week pretty good. I am getting through the week pretty good. Not not complaining one bit. But yeah, um, y'all be safe out there and have a good week or rest of your week. Alright, see y'all around.